Okay, for the next technique, we're actually going to use Perfect Pearls wet. For the past two techniques, we were using it dry. Really, really easy technique and fun. Um, for this particular project, we've already heat embossed with embossing powder and using the perfect medium as an embossing ink, a flower image that you can see here. And you could stamp with a permanent dye ink to create your image and then paint it in, or you could emboss either one. I kind of like embossing because it gives me a little bit of a raised surface to hold the paint in if I've made my paint watery. Okay, so we've already embossed the image. The next thing we're going to be working with is the detail brush, the perfect pearls, and the mini mister filled with water. So I'm going to create a paint simply by taking my mini mister, make sure that the uh, sprayer is facing your nonstick craft sheet. Can't tell you how many times I've sprayed myself instead of the craft sheet. And just create a little bit of uh, spritz on your craft sheet. And we're going to use this as the actual paint palette to create our paint. First color I'm going to use is gold. And I'm just going to dip in a little bit into a few of my spritzes to create a paint. Okay, and you know, you'll get a feel for this. Some people like to have more of a watercolory kind of paint or a glaze. Um, I prefer to have a little bit of a thicker paint, but it's really up to you. So you can play with the ratio of water and the ratio of the pearls, but you'll see that they go very, very far. You only need a little, little bit to create a paint. And so I'm just going to paint in with my paintbrush into the detailed image inside of the lines created from the embossed image. Okay, and you can see I'm doing like the little petals near the center of this flower. And the perfect pearls, because you're mixing them with water, actually become permanent on the paper surface. If you're working with Perfect Pearls Dry, like our previous projects, to make it permanent, you could just spritz it with the mini mister after you're done with your project, let it dry, and it's permanent on that surface. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an idea of a couple of colors, so we'll create another paint. And again, I can use the same paintbrush. I actually just keep reusing this mini mister for everything, to clean off my brush in between colors. It's great and then I can just simply wipe it off because the nonstick craft sheet is such a great surface to work with. And we'll go on to the next color. So we'll do a little bit in the larger petals. And again, I'm just going to spritz, dip into the color, create my glaze, my paint. And this one I used a little bit more water, so just to thicken it up I need to add a bit. Okay, and again, a little goes a long way, and I can go ahead and paint. Oh, this one's really pretty. It's kind of an iridescent type color. And you get the idea. Now, I'm doing this kind of quickly, so I'm not really being neat about it, but you could really, if you have a detailed image, you could really take your time and fill in all the spots. And here you can see a finished sample once all the painting's been done and the card's been mounted. So painting with Perfect Pearls, quick and easy project and really relaxing too. One last thing I'm going to show you just real quick. Let me just make sure I clean off my craft sheet a little bit so I start with a clean surface. Is actually not working with the Perfect Pearls but working with the Perfect Medium for one last technique that you can do with it and that is called creating a watermark. And in case you don't know what a watermark is, a watermark is giving that look of a little bit darker image over a background. And all you have to do is stamp directly onto the paper with the perfect medium. And this is a really great way to create a background for a card or a quick scrapbook page or any number of things. And it's as easy as stamping it up. And always remember to go slightly askew and off the paper to make it look more natural when you're doing a background.
so you get the idea of a watermark. So I hope you've enjoyed learning these quick and easy techniques with Perfect Pearls. I know sometimes the packaging may seem intimidating, but when you start playing with the Perfect Pearls, you realize how easy they are to use and how you can get such great results. And don't forget, you can use them on multiple surfaces, like we have in the project here. For example, on the shells, we added Perfect Pearls to give them a more luminescent quality. So have fun with this. Give it a try and get creative with Ranger.